This video is an overview of the Autorig Pro Wing Rig, which allows you to rig and animate bird wings with ease. Next week I'll also release a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to rig a full bird model, including body, legs, wings and face. I'll even show how to tweak and customize the Autorig Pro rig. Subscribe with notifications to make sure you don't miss it. When you want to rig a bird with Autorig Pro, you would most likely go to ARP and add armature and choose the bird preset. So next I want to go to edit reference bones, set my pivot point to 3D cursor, select all bones, and now you can press S to scale these bones up or down to more or less match the dimensions of your bird. One thing that this default rig is missing in my opinion is a tail. So select the first spine bone, add limb and add a tail. Limb options, give it two subdivisions and align it with the model. Now to the wings. So the wings seem to consist of some main bones and then some feather bones. It's important to understand that this is actually the Autorig Pro arm rig. If I select one of the main bones and click on limb options, you'll see that these are the options for the arm and we have special wings options. If I disable them and press OK, these four bones will start resembling an arm. These default feathers that Autorig Pro gives you with the bird rig are unlikely to fit your exact model anyway, so let's disable them for now and we'll explore these feather options in a minute. With this base rig, I just want to make sure that these bones match the anatomy of my bird. So this is the upper arm, this is the lower arm, this is the hand, and this is a shoulder bone. The shoulder and clavicle in birds is kind of complex, but for simple rigs, having it like this will work just fine. Now I can press match to rig, and I want to apply a basic skinning to test the rig. I have the feathers of this bird as a separate object, and I highly recommend that you do the same. It will help you a lot with the weight painting process. So for now, I can hide the feathers, select the bird body, and shift select the rig, go to skin, the special options do not work well for the bird, disable them. I tend to disable preserve volume and then I can bind. By default the wings are set to IK mode, but you may find animating the wings much easier in FK mode. So you can go to tool and press snap IK FK and do the same for the other arm. Now we can focus on the feathers. Let's unhide the feathers model and edit reference bones. Select one of the arm bones, click on limb options and enable wings. We have options for the number of arm feathers, number of forearm feathers, number of hand feathers, which will simply attach different number of bones to each part of the limb. We have feather subdivisions when it's set to 1, we'll have a single control which will control each individual feather and if you add more subdivisions, that will add additional controls which will allow you to bend the feather. So if you want some control, give it at least a subdivision of 2. Feather layers tries to mimic a natural phenomenon in bird wings of having layers of feathers. In my model, I can easily identify 3 such layers. Definitely enable Add Wing Fold Controller. This will help you set up a widget that automatically folds and unfolds the wing. Update existing feathers will basically reset the feathers. And parent feather layers will parent the individual layers to each other. This can make the controls a little bit simpler, but you may lose some control over the individual feathers. For now, let's press OK. And this will create the exact number of feather bones that we specified in the limb options. And also the exact number of layers. Now I want to decide how many feather bones I actually want. Let's hide this rig for a second. Chances are that you will have more short feathers than long ones. So you have two main options. A sensible solution is to assign a single bone to each of the long feathers and to group together some of the shorter feathers. But if you insist on rigging each individual feather with an individual bone, then the number of bones will be decided by looking at the layer with the most feathers. 
and I did something like this in the long format tutorial, so check it out if you want to see what I did there. In this video, I'll base the number of feather bones on the longest feathers, which have the lowest number. So if I go to edit mode and select some vertices of these long feathers and press Ctrl L and then Shift H, I'll be able to see just the long feathers. Then from the top view, I can try to identify how many I should assign to each part of the wing. This seems to be the elbow, so the end of the upper arm. So I would assign three to the upper arm. Let's unhide the rig as well. The hand bone seems to be ending here. So these three feathers will be the hand feathers and the remaining five feathers will be the lower arm feathers. Let's go to the rig, edit mode. Now I can set the exact number of feathers, but before that, let's move these feather bones randomly a bit. Then select an arm bone, go to the limb options. Let's see what update existing feathers does. I'll enable it and press OK, and that will reset the bones to their initial position. So at any point, you can change the number of feathers, layers, subdivisions, and so on. If you've already done some work and you want to keep your existing feather positions, you should uncheck it, but that can be risky because the order of these bones matters. If you change the order of the bones, some of the automation of the wing and feathers may not work correctly, so keep that in mind. Now I'm going to set the upper arm feathers to 3, forearm to 5, and hand to 3. And the other options I can keep as they are and press OK. Now you see how this bone that was added here is not well aligned? That is because I didn't have update existing checked. So now if I enable it and press OK, that will arrange the feather bones exactly as they should be. Let's start aligning the long feather bones. I would recommend that you split the long feathers into a separate object. So go to edit mode, unhide everything, and P and separate selection. Now I can hide the other two layers. I could hide the body as well. Select the rig, go to edit mode. Setting display to stick may be a good idea. And now I want to start aligning these long bones. Using face snapping can help a lot here. Now just align all of these feather bones, paying attention to their order. That's it for the long feathers. Now let's move on to layer two. Now I'm going to separate the second layer of feathers into another separate object. Hide the top layer of feathers, and I want to align the second layer of feather bones. This can be tricky because of the different number of actual feathers, and you have to decide which ones you're going to group together. For example, I'm probably going to group these three feathers as a single one. Then unhide the top layer of feathers and align the top feather bones in the same way. Now if you press match to rig, you'll see lots of green controls here at the feathers. So Odric Pro generated these feather controls and they are already set up. We just need to make sure that the feathers are skinned to the feather bones. Before we go into weight binding, let's create the feather bones for the right wing. Go to the rig, edit reference bones, click on the left arm or wing and check your limb options. We want to copy these exact feather settings on the other side. So I'll go to the right wing limb options, enable wings, and set the feather settings. Three, five, three, two subdivisions, three feather layers, and I want the fold control and press OK. Because our bird is symmetrical, we don't have to align these feathers manually. Just select the feathers on the left side, enable x-axis symmetry, 
tap G lightly and then left click to confirm. Here I missed some bones, so again select them, press G and left click to confirm. And I can match the rig. Here is a pro tip on weight binding the feathers to the controls. I learned it directly from the developer of AutoRig Pro, so it's probably one of the best ways to do it. Go to object mode, select your feather meshes, go to edit mode, select one feather and maybe one on the other side as well. Then go to object mode, select the rig, go to pose mode and select the feather controls that you want to skin these feathers to. Then go to skin and actually we have to go back to object mode, select the mesh, shift select the rig and then in the skin options enable selected bones only and selected vertices only. And that will respect the selections that we just did and it will bind only the selected vertices to the selected bones. Now I just have to press bind and if I go to pose mode, the feathers that I selected will be skinned to the selected bones. So now we just have to keep doing this. Select the next feather, go to object mode, select the bones that we want to use, select both with the rig being the active object and press bind. And the next feather has been skinned, so I just have to keep doing this. My long feathers are all down and you can see how they start to beautifully react to the movement of the arm or wing. Next I'll start working on the second layer of feathers. And I'm done weight painting all of the feathers and now I have these nice feather controls. The feathers fan out and contract automatically, but I can also have individual controls all over them by using these spherical widgets and I even have control over each individual feather. Now let's talk about the wing folding. So first let's see what the bird does on a very basic level to achieve the wing fold. It places the upper arm close to the body, lower arm close to the upper arm and the hand close to the forearm. And the feathers are just designed or they evolved to fold nicely. Let's go out of local mode. The folding may not look as great for your rig because the mechanics of the folding are quite complex. It looks quite reasonable here actually, but the nice thing is that you can take your time once and then set up an automation to fold and unfold the wing anytime you want. Here is how it works. Set your animation end to 10 frames, split off another window and make it dope sheet and switch to action editor. At this point I can reset my rig, Alt R, Alt G, Alt S, then create a new action and give this name this exact name, rig underscore wings underscore fold. Now select all arm controls, including these spherical gizmos. Then I can go to select, select mirror and extend. Everything is selected so I can press I and keyframe everything, location, rotation and scale, just in case. Then go to frame 10, enable x-axis mirror and start creating the basic folded pose. You can enable auto keying here and by just rotating these controls slightly, a keyframe will be recorded. This flipping of the feathers is an inevitable part of rigging, so just be careful not to push them too far. You can also use the individual feather controls to create the exact feather position that you like. Just make sure that the feathers that you tweak also have a keyframe at the default position at frame 1. So you should end up with a simple folding animation that looks something like this. You can also go to the intermediate keyframes and tweak the position of these controls as you like it. And I just need to make a slight tweak. I have to set the start to zero, select everything, grab this keyframe and press G to move it to frame zero. So we have an animation from frame zero to 10. Next, I can go to ARP and simply click the match to rig button, that's all. Then unlink this animation, select all controls, disable auto keying, Alt R, Alt G, Alt S. And now if I just use this controller here and press S to scale it, that will trigger the folding action. If I disable X-axis mirror for pose mode, I can fold the wings individually. This control, if we go to edit reference bones, 
select an arm bone and enable the limb options. This control is created by enabling this option here. And the position of the control is based on this bone. So if you just move it somewhere where you like it and match to rig, this control will appear there. At the end, here is another pro tip from the developer of AutoRig Pro. In general, the feather automation will work great, but if you ever find that the feathers do not spread out exactly as you want them, you can select one of these spherical widgets and go to constraints and adjust the influence of the copy rotation constraint. And that will change the balance of the feathers so I can make them lean more towards the upper arm or to the lower arm. Lower arm and hand and so on. Do not miss the full bird rigging guide coming soon or already available depending on when you're watching this. Check out the Autoric Pro playlist for the full list of Autoric Pro videos. The link is in the video description.